Hey everybody, Prepare for the Ages coming at you from my primary location. How are you doing today? It is March 4th, 2022, and we just saw um, uh, Blinken uh, give his little, give a, uh, give a, a press conference on what's going on over in uh, Europe. And so suffice to say, uh, I have just ordered more uh, cloth diapers for my mom. Um, right now she goes through a minimum of five diapers a day and these are the diapers that she has that are disposable. She likes the disposable ones better. It's just kind of like, you know, once it's done you just put it in the trash. So those are easy for her. But in the future we, I don't think we're going to get I think we're going to uh, run short of a lot of things. So I just, you know, climbed up on the internet and ordered five more cloth diapers. In case you don't, uh, in case you, you're just new to the channel, what's happened, what happened before was um, a year ago, two years ago, uh, I looked up uh, how to make diapers on YouTube and that's a disaster. <laughs> so um, uh, trying to make cloth diapers by, you know, on your own, by yourself, even if you just have mad sewing skills, you'll be just so frustrated and the the cloth diapers that I just ordered were less than thirty dollars each but uh, the less than thirty dollars each gives you the uh, the grace of not having to go out and buy uh, the plastic diapers the disposable diapers so uh, and in case the disposable diapers are uh, going to become uh, few and far between. Uh, well, five years ago, five years ago, a few, uh, a year or two ago, I bought five cloth diapers just in case and put them in my prep. So, uh, l looking at what is maybe coming down the road, and it looks like it's going to get worse before it gets better. Type of premise, says Mr. Blinken. Uh, I have gone out and just ordered five more cloth diapers. I think we might need more. Maybe I should have ordered like seven or so. But I ordered five cloth diapers just because um, things are progressing where mom is concerned. And I just don't want to run out of diapers uh, because it takes about, for me, it takes, I, I wash my clothes and then I put them out on the drying rack. And since it's winter, the drying rack, I put them out on the drying rack, but the drying rack is inside. So it takes about a day for everything to dry. And I want to make sure that I have a good cycle going for uh soil diapers and clean diapers and a good soil a uh, good uh, a good cycle uh, for that and not be worried that I have to uh, stop and and forever clean the diaper that just got soiled just because it needs to so much so many hours to dry on the drying rack so that's where I am right now and uh, what precipitated this really was um, in the last few weeks mom has soiled pads. Um, what I'm talking about is the old chucks. So they're, they're pads that go on, they're advertised to go on your bed on top of your uh, fitted sheet and so that when you lay down if anything leaks it hits the uh, pad. On one side it's nice and cotton and soft and on the other side it's um, it's waterproof. So what we do is we, you know, mom has, mom wears her diaper to bed so she lays down and in case there's extra issues going on then it um, it absorbs stuff and doesn't leak into the bed. She also has one for her wheelchair, whatever wheelchair she's in, and she also has one for her recliner. So we have things in three different places uh, in the house. And I could even add one for uh, the kitchen chair if she ever wants to sit down in the kitchen chair. So we've been kind of going through those instead of having those as a stopgap thing, uh, just in case thing. If things have getting, gotten more frequent, that I'm now frequently... Um, I'm frequently washing those pads instead of having those there just in case. So the just in cases are starting to happen. So uh, story was, story is, uh, I went out this morning because I realized we need more. Uh, I went to a big, big box pharmacy to get some more and there was one on the shelf. And um, it was $15 and change if anybody's uh, wondering how much they cost. And so I need like three more. So I went, uh, this is during my lunch hour, or so I went from there to another big box pharmacy, different brand big box pharmacy, and they had one on the shelf. It was interesting because they had buy one, get one 50% off. They only had one on the shelf. And so I asked around and they said that was the only one they had in the store. And they gave me a, a little discount uh, for my troubles, which is which was good. And so that was that was nice. But I still need to go to other big box pharmacies and get pads.
ads. So I want uh, a total of four. I got to uh, after work is going to become a quest, a quest for the for the pads. So it's something that is. Uh, uh, progressing. I used to be able to get these things more readily, but there used to be at least two or three of them on the shelf, and now there's one box for each store, and now there's no boxes for the two stores that I went to because I bought them. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, so if you're going to be uh, uh, the caregiver, which, you know, you're a wonderful person, I love you lots, and if you're already a care person, and I know a bunch of you guys are care care people thank you you are wonderful you don't know how well I know how much you guys go through because um, I'm going through it too how hard it is mentally and emotionally and physically is is the, the is uh, yeah kind of superfluous but the the, it, the big impact is mentally and emotionally and it's just going through the slog and making sure they're okay and I, I I see that I see you I hear you and you guys are wonderful so that's all I have on that subject um, maybe I'll post a couple of other things later on but um, I'm in the middle of doing other stuff I you know I'm I'm, I'm uh, uh, just trying to get slog through the day uh, I've gone to big box pharmacies uh, once a day for the last four days <laughs> so and now I have a quest to go to more so <laughs> that's what's on my agenda so what we're doing is we're prepping and we're we're seeing what we need now and seeing what we can do to alleviate that need in case things run out in the store so uh, the disposable diapers Again, mom uses the disposable diapers, but if I can't get the disposable diapers for my mom and my mom's size or whatnot, thank goodness we have, down in my preps, we have the, the cloth diapers. So the same thing with the pads. We'll just get, I'll get a little bit more than we need and go from there because we do use the cloth pads. Uh, they're, and as I said before, sometimes they're called chucks. They're about two or three feet by two or three feet it's just to be able to put that put it underneath you in case something happens uh, so and those are our lifesavers so you're not trying to steam clean the furniture all the time so so yeah so that's what's going on right now for mom stuff we had a uh, medication scare as I said before um, the uh, the mail order medication place just really not only dropped the ball uh, multiple you know, calling different people, different, we, we keep calling, we get keep getting different people, and like, oh, oh, and so they have to, and the, the, the notes on the medication kept getting longer and longer and longer and longer, but nobody, nobody could carry the ball across the finish line, across the goal line, <laughs> across the goal line, <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, but, so my long-term solution is, next project is to get all my mom's medications off the mail order pharmacy and uh, get the doctors, because she has multiple doctors for multiple things. She's an elderly person, and that's what happens. Um, congratulations. <laughs> it's just thing after thing. But yeah, uh, getting all of the medications that we order or online, get the doctors just to can't not send them to the the mail order and just send them to one of the local pharmacies then then I can pick them up and I don't have to worry about people going oh oh well I don't know well I don't know how to help you oh well uh -uh. so anyways how is your day going today so it is bright and sunny out here in the hacienda and I want to make sure that um, you're starting to think about these things more and more because as soon as I saw what uh, Mr. Blinken had to say, and uh, multiple people from multiple countries, multiple representatives saying that things are going to get worse before they get better. Yeah, let's prep and let's make sure that everything is set for you and me to be prepared, be calm. Okay, <laughs> Steve from Corsair Trainers. <laughs> be calm, don't panic, don't get upset, and just uh, prepare so that everything went something happens we're all set on this end okay i hope you're having a good one prepper for the ages signing out for now